This is the hardest Transport Fever 2 series on YouTube and the objective of today's episode is to exploit all of the industries on this island and create ships so we can expand our operations to the next island. So last episode we set our foundation up. We've got a little bit of earnings, about 32,000 which is not that much. It's more usually early game, about 200,000 which is uh, a little bit more than what we've got right now. So we do have 164, just gone up to 171 in the bank. And we're going to use this money to expand our operations. Now, of course, in doing this, we have fed our city Lumpkin over here with the resources that we actually need to grow the city. Now, I'm sure many of you are aware of the rule from last episode that I introduced, which is that cities provide horses. So for every four residents in a city, you get one horse. So that means 174 divided by four is 43.5. So let's go to our vehicles here. We have 20, 33, 35. So that means we're allowed an additional eight vehicles. So let's get cracking and we can figure out a plan to build some boats to go over to the mainland. So we've already got the fuel to fuel the boats, but we're going to actually have to construct the boats in the first place. So there's a sawmill over here and I believe there's also a forest. So we can definitely exploit this forest over here and make some boats out of it. So I'm thinking we need to look for a sort of flat area. I'm thinking here's quite good actually, because here's really close to this depot. It might get a bit crammed later on. So maybe this is a no-go in terms of late game or, or later on, once we've actually established a bit of a transport empire. But for now, a dock here may well work. So I think we should build something there. But of course, we can't place one thing and then plan it out one by one. We have to do all at once. Otherwise, the infrastructure costs for the one thing are going to make sure that we don't make enough money to be able to afford the other things because everything has a knock-on effect. It's brutal mode and we have incredibly high maintenance. Building a boat is going to take a lot of resources in terms of vehicles to actually get all the logs over here and all the fuel over here. So I think what we need to do is we need to grow Lumpkin just a little bit more. So what I will do is I'll use just maybe one horse and we'll get a little line going. We're going to establish a sort of passenger routes we got residential commercial and industrial if we go to the bus tab we'll grab a bus stop and obviously we're gonna need one in this area because this is very densely populated it is a main road but it's not that bad because there's not that much traffic so that's okay we'll get one down there we'll also need one over in the next area so we'll look for the busiest section looks like maybe here is the best spot but the issue is there's nowhere for the bus to turn around so in that case we'll probably have to just put one there to be honest it still covers most of it so that's fine and then we'll also get one down here as well we'll just probably put that one up actually we can do it on this side so if we put it down about there cool okay now we can link these up with a new line we'll go one two three and we'll make that passenger colored and then now we can call this one lump bus one now we can grab a couple of vehicles. These passenger vehicles, I'll let you know now. Each one of these holds two horses. The issue is we have to figure out how much capacity we think we're gonna actually need because if we buy too much capacity, we're stuck with a vehicle that holds too many people. It's costing too much maintenance. This one, for example, 12,000 a year, but it holds 12 people, okay? So we have to make 1,000 a year per person, right? This one is 4,000 a year, but it only holds four people. It's still 1,000 person, but there's more likely this is going to be full all the time. And then this one's six hit capacity. So what I'm thinking, because I reckon there will be a fair amount, but not too many and not too little. I think we'll go for the omnibus. So we'll buy one of these. We'll stick this onto the bus route. We'll grab some more vehicles to go onto our fuel drop off because it is quite busy in terms of how much we've got to deliver. So I'll grab six of those and I'll put that onto the line. We've got four people waiting. That's five now, almost enough to fill the omnibus. Let's see here. Two on board. Is anyone going to get off? They all get off and five, six people get on board, four omnibus. And that's why you gotta be accurate with your predictions. I feel kind of bad for this, this one woman who uh, there was too many people, so she couldn't get on. But she'll get it next time, I'm sure. Anyway, this should be making some good money for us. We should stabilize in a sec. We are minus 150K after that heavy investment, but we should be stabilizing. We're already stabilizing here. We're making more profit than uh, a loss on this omnibus. Oh, I just shot through the roof just before I closed it as well. Yeah, making lots of money and that should also pay for the road maintenance. Speaking of, uh, this needs to be done as well. There's a lot of buildings around the place, uh, but they are actually starting to expand to places I don't want them to. Like we got all three types of building in the same road here. <laughs> that is absolutely terrible. Uh, we got to try and fix that as soon as possible because if we leave that too long, we're going to have some serious issues in that we really want to centralize these locations. <laughs> Not good at all. Let's get some basic roads going. I'm going to go for the cheapest option. I'm going to just get something down. It won't be the best ever, but it's going to be something. We need to do it before things get out of hand. The more people we have in housing, the more horses we have. So that's why I've prioritized the residential sector quite a lot more than the rest of the town. But this building just got built in the wrong section. The right in this instance, or the east side of the town, is going to be such a nightmare 
People are building houses in an industrial. No, I, uh, they're gonna have so much pollution in the house. And I know that so far it doesn't look like very much. We've just got road vehicles, but in a few episodes time, the transformation in this industrial revolution is gonna absolutely blow the hell out of this world. It's gonna be insane. So while we're waiting for this town to expand a little bit and people start moving into the new homes, hopefully, uh, let's cover my favorite comments from the last video. I really appreciate when you guys leave comments. So here's a little way for me to give back to you. I can't shout them all out. There was 127 of them at the time of recording. Insane, thank you guys. But a couple of my favorites were Linus Anderson. Wow, those 20 minutes flew by in an instant. Really well covered and very professionally done. I think I'll be following the series. Thanks so much, Linus. I really appreciate that. And we've got another one here from Nightwolf. Honestly, just found this channel. And as an initial impression based on this video, I like what I'm seeing. Glad I found this channel. YouTube be praised. Recommending a small yet very intriguing channel. Thanks very much, Nightwolf. And there's one more comment which gives us an action we can actually do here. We've got Nicholas Giraudiu. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Why don't you use the same vehicles in lines two and three for the fuel? The line two could bring the oil to the refinery when coming back to fuel the city. You can then save some vehicles and then gain more money. Well, I completely agree with you, Nicholas. Very well spotted. And there was a couple of you that also spotted and pointed that out. Thank you to you guys as well. Yeah, that's a great point. And let's do it right now because that is totally something we can do. And uh, I'm definitely uh, in the wrong there for not doing this. Let's do it right now. So the drop off point for the, uh, for the fuel is here right? So if we move that to, let's say like to here, right? So we'll have to go to fuel three. I'm just going to put these onto fuel two just for now. And then we'll get rid of lump three. And then on fuel two, what we can do, we can go, once we go to Lumpkin East, we can then pick up and then add a station. And on the way back, boom, you're dropping off. Now this is obviously going to cause loads of traffic down this main road, which is kind of what I was avoiding when I set it up originally. But on reflection, I do think it is a good idea because there's not that much traffic for now. It's only going to have to change later on. And for that reason, thank you, Nicholas. For a chance to be featured on the next video, press subscribe and make sure to leave a comment. Whoa, what's going on here then? It looks like by the looks of it, we've actually got way too many on Lump Fuel 2. All right, let's fix this. Lump Fuel 2, managed vehicles, one, two, three, four four, five, let's say. Put those back on Lump Fuel 1. Way too many people on there. Oh dear. I think, I believe Lumpkin's also grown. 195. That now allows us almost 49, not quite. So we have 48 horses available to us. Absolutely excellent. That means we can go ahead and get a whole five more vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. And we can dump those onto Lump Fuel 1. We get more of this crude oil rolling in, rolling the profits. You see the money's starting to roll in a little bit more. Now we're building it up, building it up, building it up. We're getting a bit more going on. And now those new vehicles should be able to sort these vehicles out that are queuing up because there's more production. 210 residents. We'll give them another bus. Why not? 216 residents. That's six more vehicles. Insane. Right. Let's get, uh, we'll get one. I, w I would say omnibus, but the passenger demand's not quite there. So we'll get one stagecoach that can go onto the bus. And that leaves over four vehicles. So we'll get four more horse-drawn carriages and we'll just put two on each. In fact, no, we'll put three on line one and then one on line two. There's so much building up now, but I think I've got a good balance. We are making bank. Look at this. Wow. 90,000 in profit so far. Last term, we made 163,000. Wow. I think we are good to go now. Let's get absolutely cracking. You know what it's time for, folks? It's time to do some shipping. We are making good money now, 100,000. That is enough to support us, okay? So the objective, we are going to connect up our wood over here, this sawmill, to over here, this tools factory, right? This is then going to be brought back to Lumpkin, which is then going to be delivered. And guess what? When we deliver, we get more population, baby, and then more horses. We do like some good horses, don't we? So we're going to do a huge investment now. We are going to build a massive building. We can't even use the small ports because you can't, there's nowhere to store the cargo. So we're going to have to use this huge cargo harbor. All right, let's give it a try, shall we? How much is this going to cost? Flip it now. 240 is a lot of money. Where can this go? I do want to connect it up to this oil place as well because then we can reuse it. That's quite nice, actually. I do like that. What about over here? Uh, that's not, that's not great. Not ideal, that one. So I do like it here. We could do right here, actually. Or we could maybe put it over here. Might be better. I think, yeah, this, this is better here, to be honest. So we'll, we'll spin this round to a nice location and just plug that in. About the halfway point. Right, that's lovely, that. Oh, that is going to be a beefy, beefy cost, I bet you. Lumpkin port. How much is that going to cost us? Water. Already 2,000 and I just placed it on maintenance. Oh, my God. 
Not good. Right, we need to crack on, otherwise we're going to be wasting time, and time is money. Because the longer we waste, then uh, the more maintenance we're going to have to pay for this port we're not even using yet. Same situation over here. At this tools factory, we're going to need a port. And this is not good, because there's a lot of terrain here, and a lot of trees as well. So we're going to have to fell a lot of trees whilst finding a good spot for this port. Here's quite flat, but it's quite far away, you see. So perhaps... Perhaps there, and maybe maybe bring it in by road. Let's just see if we build a road from the entrance. Let's just see if we can actually generate a connection. We'll just bring this then to the beach. Let's just see if we can generate a connection naturally without the need to bring a truck in. Because I wouldn't ideally like to have a horse bringing uh, stuff over to like just this tiny road. Will it connect? Here we go. It will. Lovely. That's what I like to see. Connect that up then. Another 200k spent. Let's generate a line from over there to over there. This is going to be a wood line. So we're going to color the line a woody color. We'll leave it as line one for now because we need to do the other stuff. So connections wise, we're going to need a stop. We could use this one again, actually. However, I'm not sure how accurate that's going to be for dropping off because by putting this here, we're generating a lot of traffic on this end. So we would have to do a one-way system if we, if we put this in. No, there's not really enough space to do that. So for now, we'll just use a cheap, rubbish drop-off point. Unload only. Not ideal, but we'll use it because it's kind of what we've got to work with. Uh, I don't really want to put it there, though. We'll put it on a little bit of a side street. Oh, God. <laughs> what a mess. Right, <laughs> that's that one done. Bit of a drop-off we'll get going on there then. So one just... Uh, we drive on the right side. So we'll go around there. Uh, we'll drop off there then. We're gonna pick up these logs. So we need a road We can use this newly founded road from the city actually can't we? We'll grab a road and we'll bring this up to here to a pickup station. All right, that's in there Then this road can spiral down this mountain a little bit I say spiral. I mean do a slight turn <laughs> So now these trucks can pick up they go through the town they go Probably this way actually they go around here and then they'll hook into this road So yeah, we we'll do that Lovely. And then now, if we go to a new line, we can begin our journey over here, then to over here, make the color brown. And that should have done exactly what I just said. Yes, it did. And then the next thing is we need to get the raw resources to drop off to get the refined from the sawmill. Luckily, we have a forest over here. By the way, you can hold shift and then use M and N to rotate it in small increments. I know a lot of people don't realize that. Really useful. We can bring this road now. I'm going to go along the beach. Uh, it does actually cost uh, a little bit more maintenance if you want to road down a beach in brutal mode. But it is much cheaper to construct because it's uh, it's a flat area where the forest isn't that. Yeah, there we go. And how are we looking for that? That's 5k. Can we save a little bit by... Yes, we can. All good. And then this road can go up to this junction over here. Good job I built that junction, isn't it, eh? Without that, we'd be in trouble. Right, now that's connected. We can get a new line for that one. Lump wood one. And then line two, which is the pickup to the docks, will become lump wood two. And then the shipping route, which is now line one, will become wood tools one. Because we're then taking the planks over to this tools factory. And then from that moment on, it's tools. And remember, the ship's also going to bring tools back. Everything is now in place aside from two things. We need to construct the boats. We also need to use some trucks to drop off. The truck thing is very easy. The ship thing, not so much. Let's set the ships up. We're going to need to destroy some of these trees over here. We're going to flatten this out. And we're going to use this area to construct some boats. There's a nice little launch pad here. We'll use this. So we'll put some ground layer in. So now we have a location. We need to bring some logs over here to begin building this ship. So let's get a little turnaround. And we'll add a drop off point for the logs. And now we can add a new line that goes from the pickup point all the way over here to all the way over here at the shipyard. We can then check Lumpkin. We got 252 residents. 252 divided by four is 63. So we can buy some more vehicles, that means. And we can get a couple of these to go onto the currently set to line one. We'll change that in a sec. 
which is going to bring wood over to the ports. Do you know what? We'll get a third one as well. Why not? This is going to cost a lot of money to construct this ship, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. And then the rest we can just meander somewhere. Let's say four of them can go on to... Five of them, let's say, can go on to Lump Fuel 1. Then let's put the other two on to Lump Fuel 2. Why not? We'll quickly give this route a name. We'll just call it Ship Construction for now. This is only a temporary line, of course. We're also going to create a quick new line that's just going to grab a little bit of fuel and bring this over to the ship creations point. Just drop that off there, just so we actually have some fuel for the ship as well. And now we've got all the resources we need, we can begin constructing the ship. This is going to be so cool, I'm so excited. We're also going to need a depot as per the rules of brutal mode for the ship as well. Same for every vehicle, you need a depot for every single vehicle you have, aside from horses. We can put this one down next to the road here. That's a pretty good spot for it. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. I love it. All right, how are we doing on the ship? We're nearly finished. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at that. The first ship. Right, let's launch it. And here she is in all her glory. The ship's in the water. Get that. That's so cool. So there's actually something we need to do that's very crucial. We need to deliver the tools that we get back from the production to this city we also need to remove these horse and carts off the delivery line we aren't using them anymore so there's not a lot of point we'll put those onto lump fuel one why not so on the way to this fuel place which where is this on the map number three let's make a little bit of an alternate thing going on here where we can have a drop-off point somewhere in the city that's wanting tools which would be in this case over here so we'll get a drop-off point there now watch watch what happens here after two add a station and that can be a drop-off just there then that's, it's not ideal, obviously it's going to go through the main centre of the town, but then that can go around that corner and you're back on track then. So Park Road is going to unload the tools that gets brought back over here. Uh, I also don't want them turning around, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, let's not touch it. Any improvement in population? Uh, yes, yeah, slightly, so we've got a whole two more vehicles out of that. That's not going to be enough though, so we'll grab some off another line. One, two of those, and that can go on to lump wood one. Now let me check, does it require two for one? It does, so in that case we need a couple more to the forest. So we'll go to lump fuel one once again, manage vehicles, and we'll grab a couple more. Just pop that onto the lump wood one. City's growing some more, got more population, lovely. We can afford another six vehicles. We'll go on the raw pickup lump wood. This is the second episode of risking everything we own for one business venture. <laughs> Minus 39,000 in profits. Ah! So why have we replaced our reliable oil route with a new route that involves a ship? So road vehicles may make us plenty of money, but by going to our bank under road, we have a maintenance of roads, which is costing us 51,000 every term. That's not good. That's a lot of money. However, going to shipping is a different story. Underneath water, our maintenance of infrastructure is 50,000. However, we have two massive ports which we can reuse over and over again by different routes. It's much cheaper and we don't have to pay for maintenance for a huge road. Imagine building a road all the way over here. Even if it was land, it would still be more expensive than to just use the pre-existing water. That is why boats are the most OP thing early game. And of course, because it is a new video, it is a new year. So the new year's coming up and let's see what we get. Oh, oh. <laughs> here we go and nothing. <laughs> wow, just look how big industrial's grown in this city. These buildings are huge. While I was waiting, we did accumulate a little bit of money from our fuel line. So I can pay a little bit of debt off because we are in a 5 million loan from the beginning. So we repay that one. We're getting plus 10k a year because we're not paying 10,000 for the loan interest. That's good. I'll grab a quick bus stop as well. Why not? And then we can replace this bus stop with this bus stop here and then now we might get some more passengers okay it's been building up long enough now i'm gonna assign the boat to the route and we're gonna see if this actually makes any money i have no idea i'm not gonna lie let's find out is it gonna produce please produce please produce it's glowing that's a good thing we just need it to, to, to go up a bit oh, 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 oh it went up for like a second oh yes we're making we have two planks on board two let's go <laughs> we can probably make a table out of that <laughs> Yes, come on, more planks, bring them in, bring them in. So I had to borrow heavily, heavily off this line. You can see there's barely anything left on here. I I'm only barely keeping this industry open, to be honest with you. But um, uh, yeah, basically it works. That's all that matters. 
Uh, I've got just enough vehicles to feed this now. And we're actually producing, which is really, really good. Something that wasn't happening <laughs> about five minutes ago. Yo, actual wood. No way. So let me introduce you to a new rule. Small boats like this one are going to be able to be built within one year. Remember, every single episode is one year. Big boats, which are titled large in Transport Fever 2, need a special dock. And those boats are very special because depending on the type of material they're built out of, I have to deliver it on top of the production time being three years. Three years for one big boat. Is this going to be awesome or is this going to be tragic? Minus 82 on the profit. Let's see if we can make some money out of this. Okay, here we go. We are approaching. Let's see if we make some good money. Oh, 135,000. What? All right. Welcome to the big leagues, everyone. We are in business. But don't go anywhere because in the next video, you guys get to vote what happens next. It's so much fun. So check it out.